Good evening everyone. My name is Dr. Saurav Roy. Welcome you all in the lecture of microwave engineering. So in the last chapter we discuss about the S parameter, E plane, magic T and others. So in this chapter that is based on purely microwave solid state devices. So we'll discuss different microwave devices which is works in the negative resi resistance principles. So how those things are going on, how negative resistance we can achieve. So there are different theory based on we'll discuss two value model RWH gun diode effect as well as we will discuss the avalanche multiplication and transient time devices. So first we'll uh, start it from the so key point of today lecture we'll cover these two points basically in this lecture one is transverse electron devices another one is Ridley Watkins Hilsum theory. So how the things or principle of negative resistance we can achieve or what are the different method for achieving this negative resistance properties. So those we'll discuss that's Ridley Watkins Hilsum theory. Okay. So first started from intro introduction. So, okay. So application of two terminal semiconductor devices at microwave frequency has been increased in past decades. So why the things is increases because nowadays we are mo moving from lower frequency to the higher microwave frequency ranges and as well as every uh, things will see that uh, the th things are shifted rapidly so the necessity of microwave devices are increases for higher frequency day by day because 5g frequency band is 28 gigahertz earlier we are using 4G or 3G those are working on 2.4 5.2 gigahertz but now we are moving or shifting the higher frequency so because past decades is very important from moving to 1G 2G to 3G 5G so day by day use of microwave devices are increases more now coming to the common characteristics of all active devices those are based on microwave has their negative resistance property. So what are the things when negative resistance will happen and what about the positive resistance? So actually positive resistance will absorb the power. Okay. So positive resistance whenever we will see the positive resistance will absorb power but negative resistance that negative resistance property will generate the power. That's why those negative resistance devices are called active devices and that uh, a positive resistance devices are called passive devices okay so first whenever transistor we have seen what are their difference between transistor and why we are not uh, using transistor for t transferred electron devices because transistor operates in junction we have seen in the uh, edc subject transistor has different junction is their junction one and junction two so as well as gates so and tets are bulk devices having no junction on gate so that is a one basic difference in the transistor there is uh, so many uh, junctions are there or gates are there but in tets transverse electron devices are bulk devices having no junction or gates so another most important point is transistor is made by silicon or germanium but tets devices that is made based on 3 5 semiconductors or solid state semiconductor devices like compound devices gallium arsenide indium phosphide cadmium telluride okay so those are the two basic apart from that the transistor operate with warm electrons okay but tets operate with hot electrons so warm electron means the energy of the electron is less than the energy of the uh, energy at room temperature this is bt equal to kt by q that is 0 0.0 Two six electron volt. So warm electron, the energy of the electron is less than the that electron at or energy at room temperature. But TETs are device where electron energy is more than that room temperature. Oh, what about that? That B T equal to K T by Q energy. Okay. So those are the basic things. First, the things are increases for when we are seen in last past two three decades the devices increases the things are deep another thing is the common characteristics of all active devices has their negative resistance property so negative resistance actually generate the power positive resistance actually absorb the power transistor operate in junction or gates but tets are operated in bulk devices now having no junctions or gates 
Another thing, transistor is used made silicon and germanium, but TED devices are made by the three four semiconductor devices. That is gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, and cadmium telluride. So transistor operate with warm electrons as well as TEDs operate with hot electrons. Now coming to the next point, first that we'll see the gun effect diodes. So gun effect diode are namely by J B Gun in nineteen sixty three. So he discovered that guy. So what are the speciality of this uh, diode that it has negative resistance properties? We'll see that diode effect and others. So he discovered a periodic fluctuation of current passing through the n-type gallium arsenide when the voltage exceeds a certain critical bell, or we can call that threshold limit. Whenever voltage is increases at a certain particular ranges, the properties of the devices are changes so he discovered those things later on in 1965 bc deloch rc johnson bg quen discovered the impact ionization and transit time properties of a diode so that is impact diode uh, that avalanche transit time diodes we will discuss in the next lecture so he discovered in 1965 so gun proposed in 1963 that is gun diode that is also negative resistance to poverty later on in 1965 bc delos rc johnson bg quen discovered the impact ionization and transit time properties of a diode later on lsa diode and indium phosphide diode also discovered so those are the based on the negative resistance properties so whenever we will see the bulk semiconductor devices in the sense that microwave amplification and oscillation are derived from the bulk negative resistance properties so here the oscillation and uh, amplification is based on their bulk negative resistance properties rather than the junction negative resistance properties so that is the important point for bulk semiconductor devices or gun effect diode so here uh, micro amplification and oscillation are derived from the bulk negative resistance properties rather than the junction negative resistance properties okay so those are the gun effect diode so first started from 1963 later on other di diode also discovered like indium phosphide diode barrett diode impact ionization based diode avalanche transit time diodes those are discovered one by one now we'll see the brief history so after inventing the transistor so that we know that transistor is discovered by shockley so after inventing the transistor that is shockley is the scientist suggested that in 1954 two terminal negative resistant devices using semiconductor having advantage over transistor at high frequency okay so shockley suggested in 1954 He suggested that two terminal negative resistant devices has more advantage compared to the transistor for high frequencies. Okay, so based on his in 1961, Ridley and Watkins described a new method for obtaining negative differential mobility in semiconductor. So Ridley and Watkins, that are two scientists, uh, described a new method means in which method you can obtaining and that negative resistance properties. Okay, so. the principle of that theory involved to heat the carrier at a light mean a light mass high mobility subband with an electric field so that the carriers can transfer to a heavy mass low mobility higher energy subband when they have a high enough temperature so one thing to one layer to another layer the electron will transfer so first layer is the low mobility uh, high mobility low electric mass and second one is the heavy mass and low mobility okay so we'll see in the next things another things the as per their theory the gallium silicon alloys and some 3 5 compound may have suitable subband structure in conduction band okay so as per their theory that they propose that all the semiconductor devices is not available to attain those properties there are some type of semiconductor like 3 5 compound semiconductor or gallium silicon alloys have having some those special properties okay so those are the brief history shockless suggested later on ridley watkins 
in 1961 a new method for obtaining the negative resistance properties and the principle is inferred to heat the carriers in a light mass high mobility subband with an electric field so that the carriers can transfer to a heavy mass low mobility higher energy subband when they have a high enough temperature okay so those properties are valuable for this 35 semiconductor 35 compound semiconductor and some gallium silicon alloys so those are the brief history of transverse electron devices how theory came and how suggested by shockley and how later on what are the different things is come now we'll come from that schematic diagram for n time gallium arsenide diode okay so gun discovered the gun effect in the n type in 1963 okay so that effect n time with ohmic contact is shown in the this figure okay so that is discovered by gun so that is n type gallium arsenide diode so it has cathode so here we can see this terminal is cathode then this terminal is anode similarly uh, there is a field is called high field domain is there and that is the drift velocity of the carriers okay so here also dimension is given that is 75 micrometer and this and another this one is 100 micrometer so this is the metal coated contact so this is the metal coated contact is there so we can see this things is the metal coated so that is the n type gallium arsenide diode so we started from the we see that is the anode cathode high field domain and uh, metal contact coated is also there so those are discovered by gallium arsenide diode by gun in 1963 and he analyzed that particular devices so what are the properties and whatever he analyzed we will see that is called drift velocity versus electric field whenever he tried to draw from gun observation the carrier drift velocity is linearly increased from 0 to a maximum when the electric field is buried from 0 to a threshold value okay so he discovered that or he observed that the drift velocity is linearly increased from 0 to up to a certain value so that value is called threshold value okay so electric field beyond that 3000 volt per centimeter for the n type gallium arsenide the drift velocity is decreased and diode exhibits negative resistance properties okay so here we can see this diagram uh, here we mention that is the drift velocity is there in the this direction y direction and field is there kilo volt per centimeter okay so if we observe this graph then we will see that after 3000 volt means 3 kilo volt per centimeter so the things is linearly increases so drift velocity is almost linearly increases up to a certain extent but after that the after that 3000 volt per centimeter so here we will see that that is not linear so negative resistance the drift velocity is decreases and that diode is exhibits negative resistance properties okay so that is the gun observation by using this particular gun effect n time gallium arsenide diode so here drip velocity is linearly increases from 0 to up to where this limit is called threshold limit later on uh, the drip velocity is decreases if we will increase the electric field bell okay so that is the negative resistance properties he discovered or he observed okay now coming to the current waveform so the current fluctuation was produced by applying a voltage pulse of 16 volt amplitude and 10 nanosecond duration to a specimen of n type gallium arsenide which dimension is given 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 centimeter in length okay so for that particular the oscillation frequency is 4.5 gigahertz so the lower trace had 2 nanosecond per centimeter in horizontal axis and 0 0.23 ampere per centimeter in the vertical axis so here two traces are there one is lower traces another one is upper traces so those are the current from for a particular consideration of voltage pulse that is 16 volt amplitude and 10 nanosecond duration with a specimen of n type gallium arsenide whose dimension is given 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 
3 centimeter length. So, we observe that at 4.5 gears, the current away from is this is the lower trace and this one is the upper trace. So, this one is the one further modified version or uh, we can expand version of that lower trace that is the upper trace. Okay. So, the upper trace was expanded view of the lower trace that is what we mentioned that upper trace is the expanded view of the lower trace. So, the period of oscillation was equal to the transit time of the electrons through specimen. So, the period of oscillation is equal to the transit time of the electron of the specimen. So, Gan also discovered that that the threshold electric field ETH varied with the length and type of the material. So, the threshold electric field is varied with length and type of material that is also observed by Gan. Okay. So, now those are the current wave from as well as gun effect or n type gallium arsenide diode. Now, coming to the next important theory that is Ridley Watkins helium theory. Okay. So, in this theory in 1964, Cromer suggested that gum observation were in complete agreement with RWH theory or Ridley Watkins Helsum theory. So, in this theory, so, first we will see the differential negative resistance. So, in this theory they mentioned that the differential negative resistance that is the fundamental concept of RWH theory is the differential negative resistance developed in the bulk solid state 3 fives compound when either voltage or current terminal applied to a device. Okay. So, that according to the Ritley Watkins helium theory, Hilsum theory, the fundamental concept of is the differential negative resistance which is developed in bulk solid state three fourth devices when either a voltage or current terminals applied to a device. Okay. So, there are two modes of negative resistance devices one is the voltage control mode another one is the current control mode. So, here we will see that is the according to the voltage control mode that is a electric field is there and that is the current density j. Similarly, in the current control mode, so that is the electric field and there is the current density. Okay. So, two modes we can observe either is voltage control mode. So, we, the voltage control di diagram will J versus C will be like that. In the current control mode, the diagram will be J versus C like that. Okay. So, based on the two modes, so we can say in a voltage control mode, the current density can be multivalued. Okay. So, in a voltage control mode, current density can be multiple, but in current control mode, the voltage can be multiple. Okay. The major effect of the appearance of the differential negative resistance in the current density field curve is to render the sample electrically unstable. Okay. So, in the voltage control negative resistance mode, high field domains are formed and separating to low field region. Okay. So, how it is separated, we will see there. So, that is the high field region is separated to low field region. So, first that thing is to divided into two categories one is high field do domain another one is high current filament. Okay. So, two things first one is the high field another one is the high current. Now, coming to the point the interface separ separating low and high field domains lie along equipotential thus they are in place perpendicular to the current direction. So, the those are places perpendicular to the current direction, but in the current control mode negative resistance mode splitting the sample result in high current filament running along the field direction. So, here we will see <coughs> here we will see the high current that is the running along the field direction, but here it is perpendicular to the Direction. Okay. So, those are the two things high field domain and high current filament. So, this is the perpendicular, this is the horizontal. Okay. Uh, this is the perpendicular and this is the running along the direction. Okay. Now, coming to the next thing. So, in the RWS theory, we know that two modes is their voltage control and current control mode. So, first we will see if an electric field is 0 that field is applied to a sample for example, the current density J 0 is generated. So, here you will see E 0 then current density will be J 0 is generated. 
Now, if the electric field is increases, that is E zero to E two, then current density is decreases. So here, as the voltage applied is increases to E two, then the current density decreases to J two. Similarly, if the field is increases to e, uh, decreases to E one, then density is increases to J one. So those are the negative resistance. If uh, voltage is increases, current is decreases, that means negative resistance. Is come so there are two basically two modes one is voltage control mode another one is the current control mode so that is the total R W H theory of the Ridley Watkins helium theory of the negative resistance devices so here we are discussing how this voltage control mode and current control mode is working what is the if electric field is increases then what are the things so it started from transverse electron devices. How transfer devices is suggested by Shockley that higher frequency region microwave will, or high frequency region negative resistance devices has a uh, property or increase the things like that. In future, they are using more. Okay. So, thank you everyone. So, in the next lecture, we'll discuss some other things, other theory, two belly model, two belly model theory, and others. Okay. Thank you, sir.